Thanks, Angelo. Well, we've told you all about what's happening with Confederate monuments for weeks, and this morning, crews in Norfolk removed the rest of the Johnny Reb Confederate statue in downtown Norfolk. You may remember they began taking down the statue, and part it was just part of it last week. Well, 13 News Now, Dana Smith shows us the moment the rest of it came down today. It stood in Norfolk for more than 100 years, and on a quiet Sunday morning around 7 a.m., Crews removed the rest of the Johnny Reb Confederate Monument. The streets were empty so early in the morning, so not many people witnessed the event, but there were a handful of bystanders. I think it should stay only for historical purposes, but I do understand those that want to, want to take it down. And I've heard they're going to put it in a cemetery, and I think that's a more fitting place for it, for it to go. Bystanders who fell on both sides of the issue. I think they should take it down, ground it up, I threw it over there in Elizabeth River. For years, the city had been working on moving the monument. Norfolk native Blaine Madison said he doesn't think it should have been removed, but he understands why. If you want to take it down, take, take it down, but put it somewhere and remember it's still a part of our history, it's still a part of where we all came from. Another Norfolk native, Tony Jones, said the monument has no place in present times. Uh, I grew up here in uh, Norfolk and I moved to Philadelphia and just to see the change. You know, you still you feel a difference coming from north to south. And I think it's a shame that it take something like George Floyd's death to actually make a difference. Norfolk Mayor Kenny Alexander said Johnny Reb will be put in storage. In Norfolk, Dana Smith, 13 News Now.